It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Mike Prince Show. We're going to have a special baseball edition on today. But before we get into all of that, let us remind you that you can follow us on our social media handles from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com and our 24-hour dial-in message line, 713-570-6736. I want to thank our sponsors for today's show, Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, and Diva Skin Conditioner. And without any further delay, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Man, oh man, the National League Baseball Championship Series has been set up to see who will represent for the World Series. The Washington Nationals and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Washington Nationals destroy the hopes of the L.A. Dodgers winning 7-3 to in 10. Dodgers, winners of 106 games. Largest payroll, which is why I love baseball. It doesn't matter how much you spend. doesn't matter what you do in the regular season. It's all about the execution. And the Nationals will be on the road now because of what the Cardinals did to the Atlanta Braves. Ten runs in the first inning, destroying any hope for the Atlanta Braves. And both the Cardinals and the the Nationals win their series three games to two. So the stage is set. There's only one final game, and that will actually be tonight, where the Tampa Bay Rays will be in Houston for game five. First pitch is scheduled for 6.07 p.m. And I don't know about you, but looking at how the big boys have fallen down, could Houston be coming in here with a little tight grip? We'll see on tonight. It is all set. The Yankees await the winner between the Rays and the Astros. We know there's a big football week with the Panthers and the Jags. We'll continue to pick that up on Football Friday, along with other key matchups this week. But we're going to continue our baseball theme. We're going to start our baseball talks around the Southwestern Athletic Conference. We'll take a quick break, and we'll come back and hear from Coach Aaron Stevens, head baseball coach of the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. You're listening to the Mike Prince Show. Keep it where you got it. We'll be right back. Are you one of the many Americans that deal with the effects of diabetes? Diva Skin Conditioner could be the remedy that you need. Diva Skin Conditioner is a formulation that was designed with you in mind. Diva Skin Conditioner comes with a money-back guarantee. That's how confident they are in their product. For more information, visit DivaFeet.com. That's D-I-V-A-H, Feet.com. Or you can speak with a representative by dialing 903-270-0026. Let's face it, from time to time, we'll have a need for an attorney, whether it's the case of a DUI, DWI, or any other circumstances that would find you on the other side of the law. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, located at 1047 Austin Street, is the one to call. Attorney Lee Van Richardson and his staff are equipped to help you get through your legal battles. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, 979-826-8008 in Hempstead, Texas. After my first car accident, I feared the biggest damage would be to my wallet. I expected a mountain of bills and a long, drawn-out process. But my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent was there when I needed her and helped me get back on my feet and in my car in no time. Instead of a hassle, I got reassurance and a quick recovery. Call Agent Jeremy West at 936-931-3696 to see if you qualify to save up to 40% off your auto insurance. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. This is the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to a special baseball edition of the Mike Prince Show. Yes, I know we're in the middle of football season, and I know basketball season is on the way, but... 
always baseball season here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We're fortunate to have on the line with us the head man in charge of the Mississippi Valley State Devils. That's none other than Coach Aaron Stevens. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, Dr. Prince. I appreciate you having me on. Look, sir, I appreciate you making yourself available. Uh, last time we talked, you were getting ready for a tournament play. Didn't pan out exactly the way you wanted to. Give us a recap of your 2019 season. Well, I guess 18, 19 season is now you get ready for this 19, 20 season. 18, 19 season, uh, we had a high expectations going into the season. Uh, a little bit of miscommunication with uh administration there, but uh, we thought we were going to be able to go to the tournament. And we started out the year actually fairly well. And once we got the news about we couldn't go to the tournament, uh, the guys kind of, I don't know, just kind of played into it and just just played out the year after that. Played some close ball games, but, you know, it's not a hand, she was a hand grenade. Uh, close doesn't count. The whole thing counts as a duck. With that being said, uh, the disappointment of not realizing you guys would be eligible for postseason play, that was a large psychological hill to overcome, overcome for you guys, huh? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had, uh, like I said, we, 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 we had high expectations last year with the uh, seniors we had back, uh, just the, the class that we had back. With the new guys we were bringing in, we thought we had us a good mesh. We, we pitched okay. A little depth in that uh, in that area, but we, we pitched well enough to uh, get us to the tournament. We weren't just weren't able, able to go. Weren't able to go. Right, right. Now that we're moving forward, you got a returning cluster. You had a relatively young team, with the exception of some some uh, transfers involved. How is that jail working out now? And what are some of the pieces that you had to replace? And this year, Doug Spence, we are. Uh, it seems like it happens every year. We're almost new. <laughs> we have uh, we have uh, five seniors, uh, but what I like about my senior class, or just I just say my upper class, Aaron Barkley is back. We actually thought he was going to get drafted last year and get drafted. Thought he was going to be first team All Conference. Uh, he was second team. <laughs> you know, so, uh, we got a chance. We got him back. Uh, we're gonna and sell a little horse up. We're gonna ride him this year. I know that's right. I know that's right. Uh, and he's coming back with a chip on his shoulder. Sir, yes, sir. He is. Uh, he he did this year. I uh, know he he's been my he's been my starting catcher for the last two years. He split time his first year uh, with our catcher with our senior catcher Alex Bravo, who has been my my grand assistant the last two years. He's he's played a lot all three years here. This year he's just going to pitch for us. Okay, uh, I was going to say he did he did your double duties. He was your catcher, your pitcher, and he yes, was sir. one of your one of your power guys in your lineup. Sir, yes, sir. He he, he batted third, fourth in the lineup. So you know that that part of the lineup uh, that that's going to be different for us. Going to give some other guys some opportunities to uh, play, uh, show what they can do. With the bat that Barkley has, are you going to allow him just to do pitching duties only, or will he be designated hitter? How are you going to work him in? So right now he's just going to pitch, you know, but. Uh, uh, Dr. Prince, I'm, I'm I'm hoping these guys here that we, that we have and, and these catchers we have we have enough catchers here to uh, you know we, we still doing evaluating. Like I said, we just had our first scrimmage yesterday. Went well, you know. To, to, we can just pitch him or just pitch him. If it comes down to it, well, we have to use him. We use. Him. <laughs> I know that's a look. look tell him, yes, tell him, make sure he get his hundred cuts in a day. Yes, sir. So he. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, he can sir. stay on, stay on ready, because it is college baseball, and anything can happen in college baseball. It, anything, anything, anything. You We're talking right that. now with Coach Aaron Stevens of the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. Uh, Coach, you know, I've always admired the work that you've done with what you had to work with. You've been one of those coaches. You don't complain about what you don't have. You make the most of what you have, and you yes, just sir. keep chugging away. Now, with that being said, it's almost have, like you have to find many U's when you're recruiting on that baseball diamond to get guys who are good enough to play but not have that prima donna attitude. How hard is that to get guys to fit Valley way for you? That is actually one of the the, the tougher things to do right there, though, Dr. Prince. Uh, we, we get guys that, are, that are, can play at this level. They have somewhat of a chip on their shoulder as to they think they should be somewhere else. 
So at, at times we we had to come out of that in the fall because they think they might be a little too good to be here. And I said it's Division One, so you know you get a chance to play against you who you thought you should have been playing for. This is where you are. Take advantage of your opportunity. Get your uh, college education. Play Division One baseball. Is what you would have had a chance to do if you'd have been somewhere else. You take you take advantage of the opportunities that you have now, and you know you don't cry with spilled milk. You, have, you still have a chance to play. Go out and play. It's been one of our uh, uh, tougher things to, to to get guys to realize. You know that you know, talk about it. I guess you say in the summer. Now it's it's the fall now. It's it's, it's past that. You know you're here. Take care of your opportunity that you have a chance to uh, to do here, and 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 move on with. It. Like I said, this year here, man, we uh we have high seniors uh, at Barkley, Jeremiah Barr, uh, up to the four-year guy. Barr is a three-year guy. Uh, Chase Cole is an outfielder. He's a two-year guy. I actually have uh, two other guys that are red shirt juniors. They're in their fourth year. They were both hurt. Well, uh, you know, uh. We, we're gonna we're gonna see what we what we can go with those guys. Uh, we have uh, uh, two other juniors that are, that are three year guys, you know. So we we have we have some a little depth there as far as uh, uh, turning guys. But everybody else is fresh. I have a couple of other uh, transfers: uh, Michael Jameson from from California, and uh, Nicholas Reddick from California. Those two are outfielders. I think those guys will play a lot for us this year, and. Uh, so we're, we're we're looking for a big year. We have some new blood in here, and like I said, we're we're trying to see what this catching uh, situation is going to come out to. Of course, we're always looking for some pitch or some more pitching, I should say. <laughs> you can never have too much pitching, though. Mm-hmm. Never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> well, coach, you know it's always a joy and a pleasure for us to get a chance to talk some baseball with you. I look forward to some more extended conversations leading yes, up to the spring of two, uh, 2020. And as always, man, you know that you're welcome here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I want to give you some closing thoughts and comments at this time, sir. Well, uh, Dr. Pence, like I said, it, it is always a pleasure, you know, to, just to talk with you about baseball, just to talk with you, period. But, you know, for you to get up, give us the opportunity to get on and, uh, you know, the word out about our, our university, our program, and uh, we really appreciate the opportunity you like to keep coming on any time you like to have. Sir, consider it a done deal, and know that the light is always on for you here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. So thank you, Dr. Prince. All right, thank you very much. That's Coach Aaron Stevens of Mississippi Valley. This is the beginning of our baseball talks as we get ready for the 2020 season. Reminding you guys to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. And until the next time. Guys, be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.